Who doesn't love a good Milwaukee Fastback? Apparently even all the other companies do, because look at that. That's Fastback. Harbor Freight has the Doyles and even Tough Built now. They also make a flip style, fastback style utility knife. This one even includes a so-called uh, pry bar there. Now I own quite a few fastbacks, but the one that stands out is this one. The good old screwdriver fastback. Enter Klein. Come over here, let's get a little closer. It promises smooth open close action, removable impact rated nut driver and number two Phillips bit. We'll see about that. The blade features two locking angles, 135 degrees and 180 degrees, which you can see there. And it has a whole bunch of uh, gobbledygook on the back there. I can tell you right off the bat, this is one of the first and few blades that I don't need another knife to actually open the packaging. Let's get into it. You guys can see right off the bat, the original Fastback does feature blade storage. Unfortunately, this model Klein does not. The Milwaukee does feature a simple, easy to use button to change the blades right here on the back. Let me show you guys that. Well, okay, one-handed, it is not. Unless you're loading up. And the Klein has the very same blade change mechanism, identical. I do like the branding on the blade though. That'll probably be ruined pretty quickly. Also fairly simple blade reinsertion. Now the box promised me two locking angles, so let's go ahead and check that out, 135 degrees. Oh, it does lock, nice, check that out. Milwaukee, y'all better get on that. And of course, 180 degrees, which if you don't have that, uh, it's probably not a good knife. Fairly smooth. Seems like it gets stuck there a little bit at the 135 degree mark. But just like any other fastback, a little bit of break-in should handle that problem. Now this fastback has been used and abused for about three years now, and it's still chugging along. And yes, you can load it up with all your different type blades, your roofing shingle blades, hook blades, uh, carbide blades, carpet blades, whatever else. If they make it in a blade, you can probably put it on here. Same thing goes for the Klein, hook blades, blah, 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 etc., etc. They all fit. They all work. Not bad. The one spot where the Klein clearly outshines the Milwaukee is the driver. You Milwaukee guys are going to hate this, but it's got a bigger package. And you can store bigger bits. Ask your ex. Bigger or smaller? What's better? Both blades feature a flimsy little piece of metal to lock the driver. And Milwaukee has, I believe, included a double-ended bit. It's been a while since I took this out. Give me a second. So yeah, it was seized up in there a little bit, and of course you can use your little quarter-inch driver, emphasis on the word little. While Klein hasn't included a reversible slotted Phillips driver, they do have this impact-rated bit. Check that out. Nice. Now it's not held in there by friction or a ring or anything like that. I believe it's just magnets. Magic. While the Milwaukee is held in by years of rust, dust, and uh, friction. Still not as rusty as my ex, though. And as far as belt clips, well, these are gym shorts, and the Klein goes on pretty easily. Meanwhile, you're probably better off just shoving the Milwaukee in your pocket. Neither of these are made out of metal. They're both some kind of composite polymer material. All that being said, the OG Fastbacks were indeed made out of metal. At the end of the day, is it worth it? Let me work it. Put your thing down, flip it, and reverse it.